Wow. Uh, good day, subscribers, friends of the channel, um, fellow South Africans. Yo, we've come a full circle. I think um, this is, we are now on series eight. And series eight uh, basically is a prediction of what I believe uh, will be the outcome uh, in the application um, in the application uh, for recusal uh, by Deputy Chief uh, Justice, Justice Zondo. And I will tell you, South Africa, in law it is, and, and I make this disclaimer in advance, in law two plus two is not always four, isn't it? So sometimes it's three, sometimes it's six. And so I make this prediction on the basis of how I interpret, analyze, appreciate uh, the two sides to the story or the two arguments for and against uh, the recusal of 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 Justice Zondo, and one thing I will tell you is that I am. <laughs> I, this case became a problematic for me because Advocate Kakane really, um, he is that good. He he came up, took a very bad, bad, bad case, and 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 really. Uh, at, at points make very striking, very strong uh, uh, case, especially when he deals with the separation of powers. So it's not a simple, no, he will not, uh, he will recuse himself or he will not recuse himself. Uh, but this is my, um, it's like in a math class. Uh, the, 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 the teacher will often tell you that the answer is not as important as the process uh, to getting to, to the actual answer. So remember, inherently, there is a presumption that a judge is impartial in South African law. And the purpose is we need to protect the bench. We don't want unnecessary uh, challenges to, to the bench. And so the standard is, as Advocate Skakani said, a huge mountain. It's like mountain Mafadi, uh, which is one of the, <laughs> the highest mountains in South Africa, somewhere in the, in the Drakensberg. And in order to climb that mountain, sweat, blood, and tears, uh, <laughs> you will have to suffer. And one of the things that I will tell you is that from where I'm standing, when I look at the facts that were presented, when I look at the, 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 the reasonable person, the objective person, I genuinely do not believe that reasons of you are my friend is sufficient. Reasons of a political conspiracy are sufficient. Reason of you are cherry picking witnesses are sufficient. The, the, the reasons that are advanced South Africa, in my view, genuinely, honestly, are not sufficient. They are good political arguments that could probably hold sway in persuading uh, political uh, uh, allies or, or maybe shake political opponents, but they cannot really hold much sway in a, co in a, in a legal uh, uh, platform uh, of this nature. So one thing I'll tell you, South Africa, is that I do not believe at the end of the day that we will have uh, uh, Justice Zondo deciding in, in, in favor of, of Mr. Jacob Zuma. Because objectively, the facts are, every single South African was invited to bring forth information they have at their disposal. There were over 257 witnesses that came and testified, not those that Mr. Zuma wants us to, to focus on the 10, pushing a particular narrative of colonial uh, masters or what, what, what. All those things are political statements that, in my view, are geared towards destroying the legitimacy of the commission, to discredit the commission in such a way that whoever will get the recommendations uh, as part of the executive would not have the political will uh, to see those through. So I believe that an objective person with the right information that understands that the commission really the investigators considered Mr. Jacob Zuma's statements uh, that they, the, 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 the commission really uh, is, has tried numerous times to get Mr. Zuma to come and put his version, to invite other people that have a narrative that Mr. Zuma is talking about to come and uh, uh, assist the commission with information. We know, objectively speaking, that the 
the, the deputy chief justice has not made findings regarding some political conspiracy. We know that he has not made any even uh, political comment uh, regarding this case. And we know that he got a list of witnesses from the public protector report, from the investigators, and eventually in the course of the process also identified some witnesses and those also that came voluntarily. So I, <laughs> I'm at pains to, to say to you that in my view from where I'm standing, I do not believe that it will pass the constitutional master. And it is very funny because uh, the Deputy Chief Justice, in my view, is open to persuasion. He desperately wants Mr. Zuma as a central figure to come so that he can make a qualified, you know, recommendations when he finally makes recommendations that considers all sides, where he weighs all sides and then come to a conclusion as to whether there is state capture or not. Currently, he has not decided whether there is state capture or not. And the truth of the matter is the concept of state capture remains a political statement and what we are essentially looking at is whether there was fraud and corruption facilitated by people in government. And that is the essence of, of this case. There's nothing to it. There's nothing more and there is nothing less. So I'm saying to you, South Africa, that Judge Zondo is going to come out. He will, he is going to blow us up. I promise you he's going to blow us up with his legal arguments and he will really be and remember the caliber of, of, of the justice that we are talking about, deputy justice in the country, top two in the country. He will certainly, I promise you, um, come up with a clear judgment against uh, the application of Mr. Zuma. In my view, it's an application that, that genuinely must be frowned upon. Having said that, I'm saying I am still looking to understand uh, clearly what or looking forward to hearing what the... Chief Justice will say on the argument made by Mr. Zuma that but the, you, you participating in this process, accepting this appointment, uh, you are blaring the separation of powers principle. So I, 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 I'd be looking forward. I don't think it's great and an argument, but I'm looking forward to that. And I can tell you, South Africa, that Mr. Zuma is not going to succeed. Having said that, uh, thank you very much and I'm also will be glued to my screen to ensure that I know what is the outcome of, of, of the case. Thank you very much. I appreciate you.